Venus Williams, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well, you look fantastic. Thank you. Now tell me how playing sports, specifically obviously tennis, yes. helped you transform into a successful businesswoman? Well, the lessons that you learn in sports, uh, the setting goals, uh, staying positive, um, fighting through um, you know, ups and downs throughout the game, um, facing failure, learning how to succeed, all those lessons that I've learned on the court, I've applied them to my life um, outside of the court in, in business, my company called V-Star Interiors, which is an interior design company, and also Eleven, which is what I wear on court. Uh, in the book, you talk to, well, former President Bill Clinton talks about how yes. playing rugby at Oxford and golf throughout his life has helped him become President of the United States. Yes. What did you learn from his story? Well, it was so amazing. I was really flattered because he mentioned me in his story. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, in my in my book, I have it all, notes and all written up. It's like I have wow on the sideline. <laughs> but uh, his main goal, his main uh, message was never quit. So it all boiled down to never quit and how his parents taught him not to quit. And he goes through his rugby experience, how he played with through a concussion and found a way through. And it really got him through uh, his experiences at the White House. You know whose story I absolutely love? Because I'm such a big fan of hers, as yes. I'm sure you are. Vera Wang. Yes. Tell me about her story. Well, her story is all, she was actually a figure skater, really at a very high level, almost that Olympic level. And uh, she was very competitive. Uh, all the practice practices that she did, getting up at 3 in the morning to go train, and all that discipline that she learned, all the drive, and all the, uh, that it takes to be at the top of what you do, how she transferred that into figure skating, and how she, uh, I'm sorry, into designing, yeah. and how she credits her experience in sports to being where she is today, just transcending wedding gowns and fashion all around. You must relate so much to her story, because now you're a designer, too. Yes. When you're setting out to design a piece, what goes through your head? What do you think, okay, what do I want to accomplish here? How does exactly, it work? Exactly, exactly. Just starting at the beginning, what do I want to accomplish? What are my goals? What do I want this dress to say? Um, all my dresses, I think, are pretty unique out there on the court. They are. And Some people call it provocative. Is that accurate? They win matches. <laughs> Okay, that's what you call. My dresses are designed <laughs> to win. So going into it, I think about you know what do I want to represent. So uh, definitely, Vera Wang has been an inspiration for me. Another story that um, touched me in your book was that from former Defense Secretary William Cohen. Yes. Uh, especially the relationship between him and his father. What? touched you about that story between yes. him and his dad. He played basketball as a he young man. He played basketball in Maine and he goes into the story of how he would practice in the winter for two hours just until he couldn't shoot anymore because he was so cold and how his dad would watch through the window in snow to watch his practices and you know my parents are my coaches so I relate to that and it was just um, a, such a touching and moving story and how he walked 22 miles each day um, from New Hampshire to Canada during his camp one of his first campaigns and how he used his sport experience to get through law school so his, his story is one of my favorite stories very touching another great one is Magic Johnson's yes. story what'd you learn from him so much he it was a great champion growing up in California I used to watch him uh, in grade school <laughs> so to be able to have him in the book is just wow it, it, it was amazing and just that transition from as an athlete how people don't always take you series in business and how he's used his experience as an athlete to transition to be a very successful businessman and how he's also um, you know I've learned from that also because I also have endeavors in business and just having people to uh, know that you you are about business and you're good at what you do on and off the court your sister and best friend Serena yes. is on the cover of Sports Illustrated right now um, they call her the best ever what is it like for you to play both against her and with her yeah, she's my opponent and my doubles partner. So literally, we could play a Grand Slam final in singles, and then two hours later, play a Grand Slam <laughs> final against each other, or with each other in doubles. So we've definitely uh, go from 
being rivals to being doubles partners and teaming up. And it's all about what we do growing up. We dreamed to do what we're doing now. And just to be able to do it time and time again is amazing. In the final seconds, we have the U.S. Open coming up on CBS, by the way. Exactly. In September. <laughs> um, how are you feeling going into it? I can't wait. The U.S. Open is the final major, and it's at home in the U.S. Uh, Bring some of my best tennis to that tournament, um, singles and doubles. So I'm gearing up for that. But until that time, um, I'm hoping that uh, my book Come to Win will help a lot of people to have the same experiences I have and to be successful in life. Venus Williams, thank you, and good luck. Thank you. Ooh, ow, oh, ow, I'm ow, sorry. Ow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it was firm. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> you can read an excerpt from Come to Win on our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.